to Rewind, I'm Megan McDonald. Busy week in the WAC with the Women's Golf Championship going down. New Mexico State has won the last two titles. The Aggies looking to three-peat. Let's take a look at how things went down. The 2016 WAC Women's Golf Championship took place in Blaine, Washington. New Mexico State finished 16 strokes ahead of second place Seattle U. The Aggies were 20 over par at 884, shooting just three over par as a team over the final 26 holes. Seattle U shot a 36 over par, shooting an even par 72. New Mexico State sophomore Kennedy Montoya led the Aggies to a third straight WAC championship, winning the individual title on Sunday afternoon. Montoya recorded a par on the 18th hole to clinch medalist honors by two strokes over teammate Viviana Macias and Dorsey Addicts of Seattle U. The All-WAC teams and individual awards were also announced. New Mexico State's Viviana Macias was named WAC Player of the Year, and UMKC's Cynthia Diaz was named Freshman of the Year. Aggie head coach Jackie Booth was named Coach of the Year. Keeping spring sports going over in baseball, heading into the weekend, New Mexico State was just one game behind the conference leaders. The Aggies looking to bounce back after dropping the series to Utah Valley as they traveled to the former WAC champ CSU Bakersfield. Bottom of the first, no score. Max Carter getting things going with the single, driving in Malik Jones to take the early lead 1-0. Top of the third, CSU B up 1-0. But boy, is that about to change. Aggies on first and second with two outs. Dan Hetzel sends it over 390 feet over the center wall, the deepest part of Hartfield to lift New Mexico State up 3-1. The runners tried to rally, but would fall short to the Aggies 5-4. Next up, Sacramento State at UTRGV, first game of the series. Picking things up in the bottom of the eighth, all tied up one all. Corey Davis doubles to left center field, bringing in Joseph Coyazo, and the Vaqueros take the lead. Next up that, Jacob Huggerberry singles through the right side, advances to second, and Davis scores, increasing that lead three to one. The Vaqueros go on to win three to two, but would drop the next two games against the Hornets, and Sacramento State would win the series. Check out the league standing. Seattle U and Sacramento State still tied for first. Both teams 12 and three in conference play. New Mexico State still in third after dropping the series to CSU Bakersfield. UTRGV comes in at fourth, followed by Utah Valley and Grand Canyon who are tied for fifth. Grand Canyon looking strong though on a four game winning streak. Northern Colorado and CSU Bakersfield go seven and eight and Chicago State and North Dakota round out this week's standings. Softball standings, New Mexico State still in first place so no movement there. The Aggies really showing dominance, only having dropped one conference game. UMKC though, right behind them at 10 and two in WAC play. The Roos on a four game winning streak after sweeping Seattle U this weekend. Grand Canyon picked up three wins over Utah Valley coming in third place. CSU, Bakersfield, Utah Valley, and Seattle U round out this week's conference standings. Lots of games over the weekend. Take a look at who stood out the most in this week's WAC Players of the Week. Grand Canyon, Zach Malice and Seattle U's Nick Maservi have been named WAC Hitter and Pitcher of the Week. Malice posted three multi-hit games in a three-game sweep at North Dakota. His best game came on Saturday going two for four with a home run, three runs, and an RBI. He also drove in three runs on Sunday, which clinched the sweep. Maservi earned both a win and a save on the week. Against rival Washington, he pitched the final two-third innings to earn the save before taking the mound on Saturday against Utah Valley. He struck out eight and walked two, allowing two unearned runs over six innings to earn the win over the Wolverines. UMKC's Kelsey Goodwin and Grand Canyon's Taylor Nolan take home this week's honors. Goodwin hit 500 with four hits, all of which were extra base hits, four RBIs, and one walk in the road sweep at Seattle U. The infielder tied a season high with two RBIs on Friday, driving in two runs in both games of the doubleheader. Nolan went 2-0 with a save in three appearances last week. She only allowed two earned runs on 11 hits with 12 strikeouts in 14 innings of work. She threw a complete shutout in the first game of the series, scattering five hits while striking out nine. In the series finale, the junior held Utah Valley to no hits and no runs for five straight innings before retiring. Don't forget, you can watch live games on the WAC Digital Network at WACsports.com live. For more information, check us out at WACsports.com or follow us on Twitter and Facebook.